Hey guys, today I'm back with another video. I'm going to be helping you guys identify your most profitable setups and your weakest setups so you can cut those out and really focus on your winners. So, how I did this. First, you have to up your review game. A lot of you are really not putting time into your review and what this does is you go through the days day by day, you're trading, you're hoping to gain experience but how do you expect to grow off of each lesson? You Sure, you memorize some of the major lessons just by trading, but most of the time you miss out on a lot of little nuanced lessons that you go throughout the trading day. So what I'm going to tell you right now is how to review. So you want to review daily, you want to review weekly, and you want to review monthly. Now each of these are a little different. I'm going to have another video going super in-depth on the review, but this is just me glossing over it so you guys can begin doing it right now. Um, it doesn't have to be exact. Don't overthink it. So I'll just go over a quick glance of my review, which I'm going to have a whole other video in depth on how I review and how I implement the lessons from the review. But for now, you just need to get started. Don't overthink it. Uh, for the title, just put the ticker and the date uh, of, the, of the trading day. And uh, you're going to put some intraday notes like throughout the day, you're going to be trading and you're going to think of some ideas. So you're going to jot those down in the notebook. Um, literally anything that comes to mind. Sometimes I have a whole list. Sometimes I have one note for the day, whatever it may be. Um, and then you're going to want to get into the specific trade review. Um, so each ticker you trade, you're going to put in like a, a little summary like, OK, I entered out of the push off the open. I risked this. Uh, this is where I exited and you're going to do, you know, uh, why you're going to explain why you did your actions. And throughout this process, you're going to identify some mistakes you made or some areas where you can really improve. So like maybe, um, you know, maybe I should have moved my stop down a little quicker here. Or maybe I moved my stop down too quickly. And you're just going to highlight that section in the summary. And at the end of the, the ticker review for each ticker, you're going to do this. At the end of that ticker's review, you're going to put in just a little bullet point of any major takeaways. Keep those points really simplified. So like, you know, try moving stop down less quickly. Like just keep it super simple, super actionable. I call them actionable notes, um, things that I can take into the next trading day. And once you do that for each ticker, you're done for the day. Um, it takes me about 30 minutes um, and I usually take like one or two trades a day so it takes me about 30 minutes to review that at the end of the day and then at the end of the week or you can do it bi-weekly it really depends on how hot the market is if it's a hot market you should be reviewing more I would say each week if it's a slow market then you need sample size you need trades so maybe do it every two weeks um, but on the weekly review you're gonna review um, the major major reoccurring problems in your trading and you're gonna review the the main improvement things that you want to implement for the next week um, and I also like to improve just my performance on how I implemented lessons so did I implement the lessons that I learned uh, throughout the week and how can I implement them this next week if I failed to the previous week so you just want to track your performance and your progress weekly and that keeps you on your toes and it keeps you focused on your biggest mistakes which you need to either cut out or your biggest uh, your biggest strengths that you want to push further so just note everything but keep the notes simplified and actionable all right now you're gonna have you know let's say a month later after following this advice you're gonna have a month's worth of uh, you know daily recaps now that's not gonna be enough to identify your best setups you want to go the extra mile so what that's gonna take is getting on a software or platform like TraderView um, it's spelled trader and then VUE um, all the top traders use a platform like this. It's basically tracking your trades um, and you're going to want to import those trades from your broker. It makes it really easy. Just follow the website. There are some other platforms. If you guys like some others, let me know down in the comments and maybe uh, the viewers can check those out. Um, but I use TraderView and it's really, really good. Um, so I just import my trades every day. But the main thing you need to do is tag your trades. So you need to put, so you know, each trade you can input as many tags as you like and you just need to go wild with it. You need to go wild. So anything nuanced about the trade, just put in a tag. So first of all, do the broad stuff. So like, okay, market cap flow, whatever on that specific trade. And what I do to make it very clean is do like brackets. So um, let's say you traded a stock, um, you know, the ticker symbol. And then for the tags you're gonna put in, 
uh, the float and you're going to say, okay, it was under 5 million float or is 5 to 10 million float or is 10 to 20 million float. So you're just going to do brackets so you can, you know, uh, easily identify which, which criteria is losing you money. And you're going to do that for market cap flow, you know, institutional ownership, whatever it may be. But you're also going to want to go setup, and you're going to want to go nuance. So what was the setup? Was it a day one gapper? What was it, you know, whatever setup it may be for you, you have your own setups, you want to tag it and you want to name the setup. Um, and then anything very nuanced, like, okay, this was the pattern, the specific pre-market pattern. Like, let's say it was a parabolic move. Let's say it was a grinder. Let's say, you know, anything that you can identify specific about the trade by the end of the month after doing, I would say five, you should have five, to 10 tags per trade at least. After doing that for a month, you're going to be able to look on the tag breakdown section and it's going to show you your biggest winners and your biggest losers where you had, you know, your biggest, your best criteria and your weakest criteria. And after doing this, you're going to be able to combine that with your review and be like, oh, wow, like this is my, this is my bread and butter setup, whatever it may be is different for everyone. And that's why I'm trying to teach people the process to improvement instead of just giving you some setup that is uh, five years old that's not going to actually work. You really need to build off yourself instead of trying to copy others because you know most people, a lot of people, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of people are not as profitable as they seem on Twitter. So you really, it's best to you know learn the basics, but then focus on yourself. And this is how you start by focusing on yourself, review and tracking your trades. And after you do that, you are going to be able to identify your best setups. Um, and yeah, once you do that, you know, I'm going to have several other videos coming after this one on how you really, really compound that fast um, and some other videos on how you identify it in different ways. Um, but it's all a collective effort. So I really hope that I can upload a lot more of these videos that help you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you really like them and if you think they're worth my time. Um, yeah, I hope you all can find some help from this. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Follow me on Twitter. Um, I post, you know, I post stuff there. Instagram is more of my personal life if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, hope you all have a great trading day. Peace out.